thing. I think I need to like publicly make that announcement right now. But, like, let's be adults here. Like, I wasn't budging. At one point, I wanted more with you. You don't be putting me over here. Crazy. It was giving sideline. I don't give credit to a friend if they ain't a friend for real. That's the type of time I'm on. Your husband gonna be the brought you some divorce papers listening to me. <laughs> hey, yeah, you look good too, sir. Thank you, but snip snip. That man ain't your friend. Detox and get over it. Have you ever thought about getting any cosmetic surgery? And that's the time live. Money and pretty women. Baddest bras in the city. That's all I'm here. That's the time live. Money and pretty women. Hundreds and fit. That's all I'm here. Alrighty. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Da -na 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 -na. I probably already did an intro just in case I haven't. Hey y'all, it's all of Destiny. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me. I'm getting ready to go to a wedding, so I figured I would sit here and chat with you all, do my makeup, and we can get ready together. I'm not really that person that's interested just in the makeup. It's giving like what we talking about while you do your makeup. So I posted to Instagram and I had you all to send in some, let me hold it back some so y'all can't see names. Posted to Instagram and asked you all to send in some questions. I posted this three hours ago. So we should have a good enough amount. If I don't pause to talk about the products, they will be linked and listed in the description box or at least it's gonna be given. Boom, there right there. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. As always, I'm gonna start at the bottom. I gave my disclaimer at the end last time. Let's start working Destiny. Um, so I want to make sure that I give it, that was supposed to be a cute little heart at the beginning with these girl chats. I ask you all to send in questions. I basically sit here and chat about them. These are my girl chats that I advise guys to watch too or listen to if y'all don't want to watch me do my makeup. Just pull it up, let it run. We do not judge the girlies that send these questions in. It's not giving cast the first stone if you can. My mood today is giving harsh truths. So if it's not as gentle as my previous girl chat, you might just need that today. Girl, today is what, Saturday? As I'm filming this, it may go out on like a Tuesday, I'm thinking. I'm trying to wear these earrings so I can decide if I like them or not. Oh, I did my nails by the way too. Yeah, the wedding is outside, so I'm keeping that in mind as I do my makeup. I've checked the weather, it's gonna be about 86 at that time. Before I sit here and look crazy for the whole video, we're gonna do the edges first. The edge fixer, very cherry. If you just saw that other video I posted, the maintenance video you saw me just use these same products so the first thing we got is life after college i'm graduating in december and i'm so nervous starting real life first of all you already in real life i get what people mean when they say that but life i already been real this whole time take everything day by day i think we feel like we're supposed to have everything figured out just because we're exiting and entering a new chapter of our life and you don't have to have it figured out already that's not required of you. What you wanna do, how you wanna do it, when you wanna do it. If people come to your graduation party, asking you what's next and demanding that you tell them all of that, like if you don't go day by day, I think it regardless of what age you get to, everybody is still figuring something out. Like if there's nothing else to figure out and you just know it all, why you here? Why you still alive? What's the point? So take it day by day, take your time, make decisions that you want to make, don't rush into anything. Think through things first. Process your thoughts and congratulations on graduating. Going to college is not an easy thing to do. A lot of people go, a lot of people don't finish. Not throwing shade, but I'm giving you your flowers for finishing. Congratulations to you for that. And don't reflect so much on what's coming next. Focus right now on the fact that you just graduated. All right, and let everything else come. A lot of body foam and mousse. If not for anything else, talk to God about what it is that you want. Make sure to include him. Let him direct your path and your plans for what it is that you want to do next. You can never go wrong with that. Oh, I like this one. Best part of being an auntie. And what has Lincoln taught you character wise? Oh my God. <laughs> Lincoln teaches me patience to still have fun. Like his mindset, he's so smart for his age. I don't want to say for his age as if six year olds are not smart, but to enjoy moments and to look at the bright side of things. Sometimes I can say something even just like, oh, I don't like this. Oh, this is ugly, blah, blah, blah. And I can tell that that comes from, this is for lace wigs, but I don't got no spray right now. I pump it up downstairs. Girl, I'm out of it. It ain't meant to be. We're just gonna tie it down. I don't think I'm old, but Lincoln keep me 
young too if that makes sense like we play video games together let's do this put let's do that put and about keeping your word too like if you tell Lincoln you're gonna do something he he gonna remember that you said you was gonna do it but he also teaches me too that being a mom is hard work um because even when he's here I have to sit aside more time for Chanel Chance um it's like a hair mist perfume so this is the one I'm wearing my hair today it just makes your hair smell nice so yeah like when he comes over I have to know that I've set that time aside um to spend that with him to give him that quality time and it just shows me I mean I, it, it didn't really take him to show me that because obviously being a mom is hard work trying to talk and multitask this is not my lane who told me to do this oh this is a brow pencil that i got from timu their packaging looks ex exactly like the anastasia beverly hills but it's not um i've only used this one other time but this will be my first time probably if that video isn't out yet using it on camera so it is okay to do things by yourself and to enjoy things by yourself like i look out and i'll just see him in the backyard playing on his basketball goal he's just so fun and just so funny and little kids say exactly what they're thinking lincoln teaches me to be open be expressive a lot of times people kind of get on little kids if you say something to an adult in conversation most people are raised their kids to where you think like oh that's disrespectful or i'm an adult don't you ever say anything to me when i you know speak and things like that and i love having open dialogue with him getting his opinions on things he matters how he feels to me matters being an aunt is fun <laughs> the love that parents have for their children and me knowing how much i literally love and i'm crazy about my nephew elf concealer i'm just an auntie and i'm i'm capable of loving my nephew just this much to know that it's a higher level of love for being an actual mama it's like wait a minute it's one higher than that like that auntie love it hit different if your mama probably said no nah, auntie destiny said yes no i'm kidding <laughs> I'm kidding, but y'all get what I mean. Like he'll say, I'm calling to check on you, but this concealer is light, so I like to dip it into this other one that matches my skin tone a little bit. And I kind of just blend the two uh together. I try to once I purchase something that ain't really my shade, I try to at least go on and finish it and finesse it and make it work. But you can learn a lot. Sometimes people think you can only learn from certain people. You can learn something from everybody. If I wasn't sitting here trying to do my makeup, I probably could say more. But shout out to my nephew. Follow him on Instagram, subscribe to his YouTube do all of the things okay this person sent a lot of questions i'm gonna pick maybe one or two of yours sure. tips on how to look for a home um make a list for what you want because as you start looking all of these houses will start looking nice to you it's give up oh that's cute this cute i like this especially if they're already staged like i wasn't budging when i knew that i wanted two and a half bathrooms and my agent would send me links and that would be one of the first things I would look at, like how many bedroom, I mean, how many bathrooms does it have? Before moving, me and my sister had two bathrooms, which meant the one closest to the hallway was the one that everybody would use when they came over. Elf concealer. I want to have a separate bathroom that my guests use that nobody else. Like if I want to use that one, I'll use that one. But make a list that way when you start looking, all the houses don't look cute to you, and then you end up settling, and not getting what you want. And take your time too. Don't rush. Talk to God about what it is that you want. If you're in the home buying process right now, congratulations to you. That's a very exciting time. Enjoy the process. Enjoy shopping around, and and think long term. Don't think just in the moment. This is the Anastasia because I'm all out of like a contour shade. This probably expired by now, but it is what it is. Just hearing a lot of outside opinions sometimes, not in a shady way. But sometimes as far as you deciding what you really want for yourself and making sure that you're asking you, what do I want and why do I want this? You don't want to mess around and like something because people saying that they like it or this cute or I think you should have got this because they're not going to live there if that makes sense. So you want to make sure that you're choosing something that you'll love, not just like right now until you sell your home. If you sell your home, is that your forever home? Do you want to keep that home? Will you still be happy living there in five years 10 years get what it is that you want because you got to pay for it. it ain't coming out of nobody else's bank account <laughs> i'm gonna pick one more of yours can you do a house cleaning video i plan on doing a dollar tree video coming up soon but instead of me being all over the place the way that i normally am we're going to shop the cleaning section only and cleaning the house which is using the dollar tree products so stay tuned for that after i do my concealer i like to spray the fix plus or just any setting spray this is the mac fix plus i like this to be all over my face as I began to blend and I left out one spot right here 
I normally don't do concealer first, but I'm trying something different for once. So we gonna see. Let's get into the juicy stuff. I'm gonna bounce around some of the stuff we talk about all the time. So bear with me. Can we be friend? Can you be friends with an ex? If so, let me take it one question at a time. Can you be friends with an ex? Yes. Emphasis on friends. If you ain't being friends with this ex, then you ain't being friends with this ex. I'm supposed to be blending that other one first. Hold on. The fact that he's already your ex, though, you gotta ask yourself and decide, like, at one point I wanted more with you. Am I okay with just being cool with you now? Just dumbing it down to just being your friend? Like, what you think this is? Do you go from just, like, dating me now to just putting me over here? You only putting me over here. Crazy? No. So ask yourself if you if you cool with just literally being a friend and what being a friend means if that's what you really want. The second part of your question, if so, do y'all stop being friends when you get a new man? Chime in. I don't want these answers to come just from me. <laughs> so I want y'all in the comments answering these same questions um, as well if you all want to. If you stop being friends when you get a new man, that means you want friends with that man for real. It was getting sidelined. Like you keeping him on the side until you, how am I trying to say what I'm trying to say? If he's just your friend, why is he being removed now that you're dating somebody? You don't move your girlfriends around when you get a new, do you? Do you? <laughs> if you don't move your girlfriends around when you start dating someone, if this man is literally a friend to you, why are you moving him around? Make it make sense. Ask yourself, is he really a friend to you? Or is he more than that to you? Or is he giving, hey, best friend? Y'all know the girls in high school, they used to be like, hey, best friend. Ask yourself what friend means to you. Define that word. Sometimes it don't be given that. Some, some of these people be associated. I don't give credit to a friend if they ain't a friend for real. If that's what it is, that's what it is. I try not to think about what the comments gonna say while I'm filming because that'll be all over the place. But me knowing y'all, because I can predict the questions. I already predicted some of them. And now I'm seeing exactly what I knew y'all was going to submit. MAC foundation. I'm going to mix it with another one though. To get the shade that I need. Because of summer. You know the sun be doing that melanin right. <laughs> if I think I know what y'all are going to say. Nine times out of ten. Y'all are going to feel like. It would be disrespectful to the guy. To keep someone around that you used to date. This and that. Blah blah blah. I don't have a boyfriend. But I know you know sometimes me and him. We'll go out together. We need to chill together. But he my ex. We just friends. So ask yourself what it's really giving. That says a lot about the definition of what you're thinking. This friendship with this person is. Submitted dating a, a pastor. He also submitted healing through a breakup. That you didn't want to happen. I ain't never dated no pastor girl so. My advice that I'm going to give going to come from somebody that I never did that before. <laughs> I don't think I have to have experienced things, though, to respond to a lot of y'all's questions. It's just you have to know who the viewpoint is coming from, I'll say. Kind of like a lot of y'all ask me for marriage advice and I don't got no ring on my finger. It's like, girl, you don't want my single woman advice. Your husband going to be the brought you some divorce papers listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to what I would and wouldn't put up with. A lot of times it's not about what you want to happen. But I will say this. Yeah. Okay, thank you, T. My Hello Fresh order is here from the week for the week. And a lot of times things happen that we do not want to happen. And you have to position yourself to allow that to like don't fight it. Just let it happen. You have to position yourself for that. Depending on what you what it is that you pray for. I reminded myself of that once. I was like, wait, let me chill out. Because I pray for this. I ask for this. And depending on when you say those prayers where it's like, God, move this around. Or anybody that don't mean me well, can you get them out of my life? When things like that happen. Ooh, somebody calling. That means I don't got to feel like I'm talking to myself right now. I'm filming a girl chat. Who we on the phone now? Because y'all be like, well, y'all be trying to tell me what's professional versus not professional. I never claim to be a professional in this space. I don't care. Like when you get sponsorships and all of that, you get them being yourself. Nobody says be a little more cookie cutter. They say be as authentic as possible in this sponsorship so that it does not feel like an ad. So this is not a professional space, okay? And the longer I've been on YouTube, sometimes being on the phone through certain videos does at least give me immediate feedback versus waiting on y'all to type back. Please don't say that's giving no disclaimers. By the way, while we're here, I've done away with the no disclaimers thing. I think I need to like publicly make that announcement right now. Sometimes it's not going to give no disclaimers because as the years have progressed, that's been so misunderstood and we've just, 
I haven't, but everybody has taken that definition and twisted it to mean so many different things that it wasn't originally supposed to mean. So now it's just giving I said what I said. Cause no disclaimer is kind of like, I know my skin look good and I don't need this makeup, but I'm finna put it on anyway. What I want to do, I said what I said. That's the type of time I'm on. I like this concealer the first method. It's cute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Blend that neck, baby. The first one is, can you be friends with an ex? Second, she said, if so, do y'all stop being friends when you get a new man? I said, if that man is just your friend, what you need to get rid of him for because you got a nigga in? What you need to get rid of him for because you got a nigga in? That's not different. That's not different. Person in my ear said that's different. I disagree. I'm going to tell you why I disagree. If, like, let's be adults here. Can we define the age groups with all of this? It's like, wait, how do I get here? If it's hindering your relationship and that person thinks that they still have access to you in a certain way in which they don't, that's a boundary that you have not clarified. That's you not saying, hey, we're just friends now. Don't do too much. Not too much. Okay. Let me know what y'all think. Obviously, it's on my end. The girl chat is from my point of view. It's my opinion. I love this brush. If your ex waiting on they turn again, mm, you might need to let that go. Y'all have me on the phone staying on these conversations so long. <laughs> Some people look at friends as he finna come over and hold me for tonight and we finna watch Netflix. That man ain't your friend. Snip, snip. Snip, snip, baby. Mmm, we look good. Alright, for my concealer, I'm mixing Maybelline 20 and 30. One is a little bit light, one is a little bit all the way matching my skin tone. So I like to combine the two. Dump it into one of the containers and then dump the other one in there. And mix it up. Next question while we set our face. Dating a pastor, healing through a breakup that you didn't want to happen. I think I touched that one already and then I doubled back. Sometimes what you want is not what God wants for you. And you got to know that he wants better for you than what we could want for ourselves sometimes. And more so, ask for the strength to endure where he currently has you. When I get on my knees and I say, whoever ain't meant to be, get them up out of here. I also say, give me the strength to endure. Give me the strength to not be like, come back. Where you going? Where you going? And write your prayers down too. Because sometimes we'll ask God for things and forget what we prayed for. So if you pray the person out of your life and now they gone and you forgot that you prayed for that. Imagine if God got something better for you. And you're thinking that's as good as it gets. If you wanted it to work and it ended, it wasn't meant to be. Move on, let it go. You gotta let it go. And this dating a pastor thing, uh, that's all you typed. So I'm guessing that's just open for whatever I would say. Hmm, what comes to mind when I think about that? People in church always have this way of immediately wanting people to be married. Don't let the church members be like, y'all need to get married if y'all gonna be talking. Y'all need to get married. Because... At the end of the day, I'm like I said, I'm on my way to a wedding right now. And at the end of the day, those two people gonna go home with each other, nobody else. So you and that person gotta wanna be together, nobody else. Do you wanna be the first lady? Do you wanna stunt? Now you gotta step, you gotta step it up, you gotta give it to the girls, you gotta come on with it every Sunday if you're dating the pastor, because everybody gonna be che they shouldn't be checking for that. They should be coming in, getting ready to be focused on the word. But if they coming in, checking for what you got on and all of that, get them something, baby. Give it to them. Don't be half stepping. That's all I got to say. Hmm. But no, that's a beautiful thing. It's like you get this substance for having their relationship. I mean, obviously the relationship will have to be your own. Um, but you learn a lot from a spiritual point of view. This is the Elf Contour Palette. From a spiritual point of view, you get to learn a lot. They hold you accountable for certain things. Remind me not to do my makeup and talk to y'all. No more. Okay, somebody just typed cool. <laughs> How to edit YouTube, the supplies we need to get started. If you have an iPhone, just use your phone. A lot of people want to start YouTube and not start with their phone. Make sure that you like this first before you start buying all of that expensive stuff. Everything that you see me using right now, I didn't start with any of this. So when I tell people that, they get offended by it and it's kind of giving like, you ain't doing it with your iPhone. You ain't, whenever I can't take my camera somewhere, I whip my phone right back out again. So don't dare tell me that. One of my favorite quotes is do what you can with what you have where you are. Start with that. Make sure that you like it. Um, if you got the budget for it right now, go ahead and purchase what it is that you want. The YouTube equipment that I use, all the light, colorful light y'all see behind me right now. Um, I got all of this. So it's always linked in my description box if you click where it says Amazon Storefront. It's organized in cute little categories. Oh, apps. As far as different apps as well, like I said, as far as using your phone, 
I make a lot of my thumbnails. Um, if I don't know if y'all heard of Canva, Canva.com, you could use that on the go. Like if I get, if I finish a video and it's giving, I'm gonna finish my thumbnail later. You can make that right on your phone and save it. If you have an iPhone and you want to get a feel for iMovie without having like an actual computer, I think iMovie comes on these phones. So obviously on the phone, it's a little more of an adjustment to get used to, but it is a start. So you gotta start somewhere. You don't just get to when you cut on a video game. You don't just cut it on and it's like on level 20. You gotta like work your way up. We just gotta do a whole YouTube Q&A. That's so much, that's too much right there. Oh my boy. How to get pretty. That's a good one. Can we not talk about physical appearance for a moment? Can we not talk about that? Can we talk about the fact that some people could look real cute but they say ugly things to people? You move in an ugly type of way. You think ugly towards other people. When good things happen for other people, you're not happy for them or happy that it happened and you feel like God should have gave that to you while not knowing that it's enough to go around for everybody and you just gotta get in line to wait your turn. There's other things that make a person beautiful. To be completely honest with you, I don't like when a guy is super fascinated and excited over the fact that I just look good. And yeah, I said I look good. It's nothing wrong with speaking positively about yourself. I don't like that. Because for me, yeah, you look good too, sir. Thank you. But if that was to go away, my curiosity is what more is there to like about me than that? What else do you like about me? Black don't be cracking, so it ain't gonna fade for a long time. <laughs> yeah, like how else are you pretty? How you speak to people? Are you in somebody's comments typing something real ugly and mean? That ain't cute. That ain't pretty. It's a lot of ways to be pretty. My sister's more on the line, if y'all can hear that. I got the mic connected. So yeah, that's a disclaimer. That's a disclaimer. Oh wait, pause. My subscribers sent me this. Also Glam Collections. These are the cute little eyeshadow palettes. Um, palettes I'm wearing orange. I ain't the best when it comes to eyeshadow, so don't judge the eyeshadow girl. I just be mixing and blending and put this right here, put this right there, blend it around, woo woo. Boom, bam, done. We got clean brushes that I'm just dirtying right back up. Other ways that you could be pretty, if y'all want to talk about the physical. When you get dressed, you wear something that you like. Y'all know when I do those pedicure tutorials and y'all be like, there she go doing white again. Why you ain't pick purple, blue, green, each toe a different color. That wouldn't satisfy me. I do white, French, white, French, because I like that on myself. And so when it's for you, you do things that you like. If it's a certain hairstyle that you love, if it's a certain wig that you feel like you look good in, you put that on. If it's a certain outfit style that you like, whether it's I like floral prints on myself, you do the things that accentuate what it is that you love about the way that you look. If you like this certain eyeshadow color and that's like your signature, you continue to do that. Talk positively to yourself. Don't be around people that want to dumb you down when you do want to hype yourself up. If it's when I finish getting dressed and it's, ooh, I look good. I don't want nobody saying chill out destiny, not too much. Gas yourself up. Speaking positive, positively to yourself because how else are you supposed to speak to you? People be wanting you to talk ugly to you. No, I might talk reckless to you. I ain't gonna talk to myself like that. Like, if you got me messed up, I'm gonna let you know where you got me messed up. That's a totally different subject for a totally different time. <laughs> but I ain't gonna talk to me like that. Talk nice to yourself. And don't be around nobody that wouldn't talk nice to you. They wanna dumb you down. Girl, she look all right. I mean, she coulda did a little better. Little. Stay away from people that think like that and speak like that. Don't let nobody come around you in your space. I'm playing in the browns and the oranges, basically. If you don't make this face while you're doing it, you ain't doing it right, I heard. <laughs> And the app that I currently have, it's called I Am. I'm going to link it in the description box down below. I don't get paid for it. It's just an app that I'm sharing. So don't be scared to click the, people be so scared to click the links cause they be thinking, I don't know what they be thinking. Click the link, it ain't affiliated. Um, But yeah, download that. And I have it set to where it gives me seven different things a day that I like to read. What you take in is very important. So yeah, take time with your skincare, your bath. I feel like your mental, not even the things that we do to be cute. Like nails, yeah, these are cute. This doesn't make me pretty though. Doing this makeup doesn't make me pretty though. I already look good and you're bringing it out even more. And I feel like everything starts on the inside. It's like me sitting here drinking this water to start the day because it's gonna be a busy day. I wanna be hydrated. Does that help? I hope. 
What were your top songs in the early 2000s? Cash money taking over for the 99 in the 2000s. What was I listening to in the 2000s? Miss Carrie, baby. Carrie Hilson, Yin Yang Twins, Sierra, Chris Brown. People don't get Chris Brown his credit. Y'all need to let Chris Brown pass, be his, pre his pass, and get a man his musical credit for being a genius. You like, oh, this is my thing. A lot of this new stuff is not gonna be timeless. The songs that they'll play be a good throwback. The throwback double back to the 90s. It double back to the 2000s. So it's like the fact that we're in 2023 and these are the songs that people can still play. It's a hit, it's a banger, it's good. Jeezy, Gucci, Lil Wayne. People still listen to, yeah, the old songs to this day. Definitely. This is a Milani palette, uh, metallic 08. It ain't new. This is gonna be my first time using it though. So I don't know if I can find it. I'm gonna go into that middle one, slap it on my lid. Um, I wish I had a playlist. You know what I need to get access to? My Bluetooth. Not Bluetooth, what's the thing called? Yeah, MP3 play, I need to hook up. I got all of my like old electronics in a Ziploc bag. If I can get charges for it, I wanna read my old text messages. Cause what was I saying? And who was I saying it to? <laughs> we had the MP3 players. Oh, y'all remember LimeWire? Oh my God. LimeWire shut my phone down. LimeWire shut my phone down over winter break. You know, winter break is like, two, well, here it's like two weeks. When I was in school, it was two weeks. And I was like, oh, people gonna think I'm ignoring them. I was assigning new ringtones to everybody. I'm like, yeah, when we go back to school, I'm gonna have my new ringtones for everybody, blah, blah, blah. Do people still, do people don't do ringtones no more. But yeah, it messed my phone up. I downloaded one wrong song, shut my little phone down. I had the little Samsung flip phone. Been a Samsung, girly, don't play with me. Now I feel like people don't really put that much effort into it. Not for it to be timeless. It's given they'll do a TikTok dance to this. This good enough. Like it ain't giving legends. Anywho, see what I said. Have you ever thought about getting any cosmetic surgery? Girl, I think about a lot of things. <laughs> we can think about a lot of things. Would I actually do it? I'm scared. I'm scared. The price ain't the problem. I'm just scared. I don't wanna, I be, I be feeling like other people will come out with a safe surgery and I'll be that person that's something. Like the same way I thought and felt about flying. Like everybody has successful flights and I would just be that person that'll have a terrible one and I always just had this major fear of flying until I did it. So I like when my energy go here then it finally come back down again. Like I be up, then I be up, then I... Then I whew. People don't really allow your progress to be slow on social media. The TikTok videos, 15 seconds, they real fast, they showed you they whole day in 30 seconds. And people don't like slow processes anymore. And I've kind of been really quiet about it and just been showing me go to the gym. I'm three weeks in right now, three weeks consistent right now. So now that we're approaching week four, maybe I'll start including more of that. But people don't like slow process nowadays. They want everything fast, everything immediate. And that's not realistic all the time. Okay, I ran out of space, I'm back. But I feel like we're not in a state anymore where people respect slow processes. It takes four weeks for you to notice, eight weeks for other people to notice, and whatever else comes after that for the rest of the world. What was my point with that? <laughs> Forget it. Like if I was to start showing it right now, when I post a picture again, you don't look like you. Girl, I didn't get off of the table. It ain't happened yet. The results ain't, ain't came yet. And I ain't throwing shade at nobody that get cosmetic surgeries. Y'all be looking real good real good <laughs> but if a person is taking a slower route let them take that slower route if they're in the gym and it's given this is my 90 day progress video that's realistic it's only a certain amount of weight that can fall off of a person at a time do i think about it yeah people think about a lot of different things but is it something that i would do uh mm. Sometimes I think about putting my fat to use. <laughs> like, it's like, why would you burn it off when you can do this with it instead? <laughs> if I can't be really true, transparent, listen, we gotta rewire what my community consists of because some of the girlies don't supposed to be here, I feel like. Like, if everything I say offends you, this just ain't for you. Yeah, I think about it sometimes, what I actually do in this current state of my life. No, whatever the gym give me, that's what I gotta settle for. And that's that. All of y'all wanna be friends with these people after they get into relationships and all of that. So this the thing, I'm basically done with my face. Let's spray my face, cause I'm starting to talk too much. Not being friends after a breakup or when a male friend gets into a relationship. Girl, I'm out of all nighter. Oh, I'm out of it. 
I wanted to wear this because we're going to be busy all day. I'm going to do a combo of MAC Fix Plus and the L'Oreal Pro Set Spray Extender. <laughs> Getting dressed and stuff is a part of that is putting my, my stuff away so I don't like to leave my desk junky. And to give yourself the time that you need, if you could be friends with the person later, cordial with the person later, I mean friends. Not them texting you at 10 o'clock at night saying what you're doing. I'm watching that same show that you just put on your Instagram story. Can we watch it together? But that's not a friend. Like when y'all say friend, make sure that you really mean it, that you're friends with these people. If you don't give yourself that space to get over that um, breakup, it'll just happen later on. Like it'll be months later when something happened or now they're in a relationship and y'all just went straight from trying to be together to now just being friends nars orgasm x and then it'll hit you later on because you never process that at some point you got to go through the motions detox and get over it and depending on what happened when people break up what you want to be friends for i think a lot of times we lie to ourselves just to hold on to something what you want to be friends for what if he did something super drastic and it's like well just no ask yourself what you want to be friends for Cause I ain't want to just be your friend. Sorry for yelling. I ain't want to be your friend. So if you want to be cool and cordial with me later, I will do that when I say we could do that. And by the time you get over being in a relationship with a person, you don't ain't gonna want that for real. <laughs> you just keep going forward. Like stop going back. Y'all be trying to be stagnant, staying at the same spot. When God tell you to put something down, stop trying to pick it back up. Or put it in the trash can, move on from it, go forward. I ain't apologizing. I said what I said. Sometimes y'all don't need the nice version of me. How to not care about other people's opinions and be unapologetically you. You do just that. You just said it. And I don't even see the lip liner I want to use. I think it's in my purse. I'm going to use this brow pencil that I don't use because brown is brown. <laughs> People going to have something to say regardless. That's what you got to know. Uh, I can't lie my lips to talk. People gonna always talk. You could do everything absolutely right and people still have something to say. A lot of people could be further ahead in life if more of their focus was center focused versus like the attention that they're giving to somebody else. You checking their Instagram story every day to see what they got going on because your life ain't that interesting and you want to know what they doing today because you ain't doing nothing today. If we focus on ourselves a little bit more, there would be no room for that. It wouldn't be reason to, di to discuss other people so much. You got a couple of types of people in life. You got some people who their conversation is only discussing other people. You got some people who discuss big ideas, big things, money moves, um, all of that kind of stuff. Like watch people who every time you talk to them, the subject is never, it can never be anything about them. They don't have anything to say, but granted, did you see what such and such posted? Check your circle, check your friend group. A lot of y'all got a lot of friends and these girls don't be talking about nothing quality over quantity i'm all over the place from what she said but who you surround yourself with matter what y'all be talking about for don't get me wrong everybody like a good gossip session clearly we here for the girl chat what y'all be typing somebody when i post the previous one I ain't watched a lick of the video talking about they was here for the tea girl <laughs> like we love a good gossip moment don't get me wrong but if that's all you do if that's all your conversation is if that's all it is that you want to talk about it's a problem I don't know how old everybody else, everybody is, but at some point in these girl chats, I don't want us discussing the same things all the time. I don't want us always needing advice on how to get over a man, how to move on from him, how to make him see our worth if they don't. Give yourself accountability. Hold yourself accountable. Make a list for what you want for yourself and start sticking with it. And don't accept nothing less. That ain't what old girl asked me, but the, ugh. a little bit of highlight, not too much, cause we're gonna be sitting outside anyway. I need to throw this thing out. This is the only highlighter kit I ever own in the style of Beverly Hills. Don't be like me. Don't use expired makeup. Be better than me. If you see me do something and you don't like the way I do it, be better than me. Girl, look at that highlight. <laughs> yeah! The glow comes from within to the girl that asks about being pretty. Treat people kind. Speak nicely to people. Some of y'all are so ugly on the outside. Be a nicer woman. Carry yourself with grace and class. You could be well-rounded. It could be even classy, bougie, bougie, and ratchet. Be nice. The people that can't do nothing for you, how you treat them, says a lot about your character. Anastasia Beverly Hills, slapping this in the middle. I don't wipe off whatever makeup got on my lips. I feel like it all mixes together and looks really good. But yeah, don't worry about what people think. Like I said in the last video, 
continue to give them something to talk about. If people talking about you, you're doing something right. It's a lot of people that don't get discussed out here. If you're in the category of people that's getting discussed, I never worry when I'm being discussed. But if a day comes and ain't nobody saying nothing about me, I ain't the topic of somebody group chat somewhere, now that's a problem. If I upload a YouTube video, as crazy as this sound, it sound like this and these two, eh, whatever. It sounds how it sounds. If ain't nobody discussing you, worry about that part. But worrying about them saying something, let them talk. You got to. You can only control yourself. You can't control what other people do anyway. So the dress is Gianni Bini. Touched up my braids. Heels are Kurt Geiger. I was gonna do the matching Kurt Geiger bag, but this one is larger for everything that I want to carry. I got my fan. You know, we all charged up. We put everything on the charger this morning. Love it. Love the dress on me. I'm gonna get some B-roll when I get there. I'm just giving it to the girls. This color on me. We start September off right. I snagged this dress the first and only time since now that I've worn it, but if you can see it, it makes you looking too close. But I get it, I get it. Hair perfume, we did the Chanel Chance Eau Tundra. Um, this is just like a hair mist. Fragrance combo, I did Lancome Doll body lotion with the matching Lancome Doll perfume. And then as far as the glow, I mixed my lotion with the Dior uh, sublimating body oil. Let me know what y'all think. If it ain't nice, keep it to yourself, okay? I like the asymmetrical on the bottom. What? What? If this was Sunday, I'd be stuck on the first lady, but you know. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the girl chat. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, if you give someone advice in the comments, be sure to be kind to everyone that did submit questions. Thank you to everybody that submitted questions, things that you all want to advice on. Um, that's really what I posted. I always end up with lots and lots of questions about me, but I try to stick to answering the questions that you all submitted to better help you all in your lives. So, yeah, if y'all want a whole chit chat where it's just all about me, I try not to do that because I feel like we talk about me all the time on my channel. Let me know if it's given destiny. We're trying to be nosy, answer the questions that are about you. Matter of fact, no. Get this video to 3,000 likes. If this video doesn't even have 3,000 likes in a one week, we ain't answering nothing about me. It's that simple. I said what I said. It ain't giving no disclaimers no more. It's giving I said what I said. And I said it how I said it. <laughs> Be sure to check out the video where I did the nails because that one is probably separate. I'm finna go because I'm already on time. I don't want to be late. Talk to y'all in the next video. Bye.